Right, hi, I, I'm Liz um, from Oxford. We're an associate partner in the project, so apart from having no funding for it, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure how that sort of we haven't worked that out exactly what that's going to entail for our participation in the project yet. Um, I'm a senior researcher in the technology enhanced learning team in the IT services department at the University of Oxford. Um, I've been personally involved in learning design research since about 2004. I spent seven years talking to academics about their, their practice and then feeding that into requirements for um, a couple of these, these tool, digi digital tools to support um, learning design, one of which was called the Learning Designer, mm. which we developed with Diana, that was actually underpinned by this ontology that actually included the six learning types. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing that's really interesting is that when you stuck those six learning types into a piece of intelligent software, it, they were, became very inflexible and difficult for people to interpret because I was doing the evaluations. But take them out and put them into cards that people can annotate and put their own meanings on and discuss and share and something like that. It actually transformed them and, and they became really, really, really flexible. Um, but all that work I did at Oxford from about, about seven years just completely fell on stony ground. There was no interest in Oxford at all until last year uh, when the publication of our digital education strategy uh, sort of prompted a, a big sort of interest in technology enhanced learning and I was asked to develop a programme of learning design workshops. Um, together with my colleague Steve, who I think took part in the online meeting the other day, um, we sort of did a, a grand tour of various um, universities in, in the UK who were doing this, this kind of thing, and, um, including at UCL. And we hoped on an ABC because at UCL is a very similar kind of research university to us, and we've got the same problem of, of time poor academics. So, and we also like the engaged, attractive format. Um, so our initial drive with ABC is to support the migration of our VLE from a Sakai uh, open source tool to, to Canvas. And it's they're forming part of a sort of three-stage process. Because what we, we didn't want people just to lift and shift. Mm -hmm. Because once they've got their stuff, I mean, basically it was taking rubbish into, into well, you're creating garbage out, garbage in. Um, so we didn't want them to do that because once they'd got their, their, their sort of courses literally replicated, um, and it was pretty grim the way some people are using VLE, if they're using it at all, um, we thought once they, they got themselves launched, they'll be they'd be into teaching they'd, and they'd, be, they'd have no time. So the idea was to have a three-stage approach to um, getting these, what we call the early adopters, across. The uh, first thing is the learning design workshop. We want them to just take a look at their current teaching and think about anything they knew they might want to do with it. And the next stage is they learn how to do the hands-on stuff in Canvas. And then um, each of them has a dedicated learning technologist that works with... Sorry, this is only the early adopters phase. How we roll out on the... To, hundreds of courses is, is a bit of a headache at the moment to work out. But the, each, each, um, each early adopter has had a learning technologist working with them, hand-holding them right through to launch. And I think everybody's launched now because today uh, this is the first week of, of term. So what we wanted to do is to get taken the opportunity, the transition to Canvas to, to think what they, they might do. Um, so in June and July, we ran team five and six um, cam uh, workshops. Um, Two or three of them have been for, for all comers, basically you sign up and you attend, and, and another two or three have been for distinct course teams, and they're the ones that really, really work well, particularly if you've got a really dynamically engaged um, course director. Um, so, so that's, that's how, how far we've got. Uh, fortunately, we have a pool of very enthusiastic learning technologists, so we all mix and match. We've got a central script that makes sure everybody sort of covers the same material, but they can, they can own the, 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 work, the facilitation themselves. We've made some changes to the format. We've, we've dropped that blended graph because it just didn't, we just couldn't make it work in Oxford yet. So um, that one's gone. And obviously things like adapting the, the tool wheel. Um, and um, we're going to do sort of a, a closer review, uh, have another look at the, the learning types cards in, in, um, in December. Um, we haven't yet evaluated things formally because uh, I'm trying to develop or have time to develop a total evaluation plan for this early phase of Canvas adoption. Um, yesterday, uh, I met with the head of our education development unit. And for years, education development did not talk to the technology and health learning side of things, but things changed dramatically about three or four years, three years ago, and we're really sort of working, started to work closely. And they want to use some formats of ABC in their academic development courses. Um, 
in light of their strategic drives to promote inclusive <coughs> teaching, improving feedback to students, and, and diversify assessment. So there's a whole new area there. And I've really picked up some great ideas already this, um, this, this morning. So thank you very much indeed to everybody.